Florence Vilmino joins us here in the studio for a look through the top headlines in the French press. Hi, Good Kevin. morning. Um, now, the press reacting to some controversial comments from a French minister, Manuel Valls, interior minister. This was in a radio interview that he gave yesterday. That's right. He defended the government's very controversial policy with respect to the Roma community. Uh, and uh, as you can read on the front page of uh, the Huffington Post, well, the welcome page of the Huffington Post, il boit la tasse, so he's getting dunked for these comments. So what did he say? Well, he said that people from the Roma community have a lifestyle that's in confrontation with France, and only a minority could and actually want to integrate in France, and the majority of them should return to uh, Romania or uh, Bulgaria. So this tough talk has uh, drawn a lot of cr criticism from the left, but also from the right. So people from the left are upset because Manuel Valls is really treading on the turf of the right here, uh, but uh, people on the right say uh, that they're upset because this is their turf, and this <laughs> is, this is uh, you know, in the lead-up to next year's uh, municipal election, they're quite upset that he's uh, treading on their turf. Yeah. Well, surely they'd be happy that a government minister was going along with their ideas, but of course a very contentious issue and very politicised one here in France as well. Um, so we've got uh, the Le Figaro, I imagine, agreeing with Valls. That's right, it's right quite surprising because it's a right-leaning paper, but they're actually backing the socialist gov government here, uh, and they applaud him for sounding the alarm. At least he's, at last rather, he's opened his eyes to recognise this problem uh, and he's no longer re uh, beating around the bush. It's it's good that he's addressing this burning issue honestly, says uh, Le Figaro. And they talk about a rise in crime in France, which they blame on the Roma community. Uh, for instance, they, they quote this figure, plus 524 percent. That's what Le Figaro says is the increase in act of delinquency that have been carried out by members of the Roma community in Paris between 2008 and 2011. Uh, and all all this, according to Le Figaro, uh, is a volcano that France is sitting on, a volcano that's ready to erupt. That's what they say in their uh, editorial. The government really needs to step in, so they applaud Vals here. It would be quite interesting to have a look and see where they got that 500% figure from. Didn't know if crimes in France are noted down by ethnicity, perhaps. So it'd be very interesting to see where they've done their research. Um, we've got the left-leaning Liberation obviously taking an opposite stance from the Figaro. That's right. They have a different take on what they call this outcry against the Roma. The Roma are actually are the victims, victims of next year's municipal election, says uh, Liberation. Now, uh, in their editorial, Liberation says this Roma threat that everybody is talking about. Well, it isn't a real thing. It's imaginary. Uh, Liberation has different figures. They say that France actually has one of the smallest Roma communities in Europe, and the figure has been pretty uh, stable for the last couple of years. So basically, the Roma are a scapegoat of next year's uh, uh, municipal election. All this is collateral damage, says Liberation. OK, another story then that's uh, always grabbed the headlines here in France. It's been going on for a long time. The Betancourt scandal, as it's known, uh, involving France's richest woman, Liliane Betancourt, and allegations of illegal campaign funding for Nicolas Sarkozy. That's right. Now, Sarkozy had uh, tried to stop a probe into whether or not he was involved in this in an appeal, but a court, an appeals court in Bordeaux has said, actually, this probe can go on. Uh, so, uh, Aujourd'hui en France says this is a real victory for the investigating magistrate, uh, Jean-Michel Gentil, who's in charge of this. Uh, now, the court actually said that he had done exemplary work. Liberation says this court's decision to let the probe uh, go on means that Nicolas Sarkozy could go on trial, and this could seriously complicate any kind of political comeback he wants to make. Absolutely. And finally, Air France in the spotlight again. Uh, some gold has gone missing. Some, a little small number of gold, a small <laughs> amount of gold. Uh, basically, 44 kilos of gold has gone missing uh, on a flight between Paris and Zurich. This, of course, comes after the seize of cocaine on an Air France flight. So bad publicity for Air France. For Pretty much bad press there. Thanks very much, Florence Vimino. With that look at the French newspapers here on France 24. Okay, well, time for us to take. Time for us to take a very short break here on Live from Paris. When we come back uh, in our focus segment, we'll be looking at an increase in kidnappings in Syria. We've got a special report for you that's been sent by our special correspondents who are in Damascus. Do you stay with us for that?